just his last shot that really let him down. Well, it was down to go, good goalkeeping by Zauda that kept the ball out of the foot because he had his body behind the ball and it was a ground that he saved it with, that, with very little difficulty. I was mentioning the poor options that Ashan Good were exploited, but on that occasion, that was fine play by City. He took matters into his own hands and when eventually the space was open to him, he shot, but over here, another poor cross from Ashan Good. That has been their pain. Apart from the first 10 minutes where they pushed the ball through the channels, used the width of the pitch so well, they've been really basically not done so much. And the uh, game uh, continues. That was a shot earlier on, and a good save there by uh, Fatal Dauda. And it's now the turn of Ashford as they come forward. That's an easy one for Latif Mohamed, but he misses the opportunity. Good clearance by Inuta Musa. It's a corner kick advantage. Corner kick advantage to Ashgold. Didier Corey in the 18 yard box of uh, Sudo Mighty Jet. Watching the offside trap closely, this is Latif. Uh, Latif's pass goes back, it goes to Asamoa. Back to Ernest Pochu. Pochu lays on the pass, there's nobody running after that. And so once again, Sudo Mighty Jets are able to uh, live up to expectation and work themselves away from uh, danger and away from uh, trouble. Thanks to the man standing guard in the center, in the heart of defense, Enusa Musa. But again, it's Latif as he comes forward. Latif Mohamed with a cross. There's nobody there to connect. Then a was a shade late. Well, the two players were shade late. And I feel that somehow the ball was over here. That cross was over here. I mentioned that Mighty Jets have vulnerabilities, especially when the ball is pushed through the channels. And over there, that ball from midfield clearly got them disintegrated with um, Latif getting to the end of that particular pass. It was the final delivery on this occasion that was full. You struggle to understand why Asante Good have not used that because that seemingly seems to be the biggest stretch that they come into this game with playing intelligent balls through the channel. And again, let, uh, Lawrence Latte clears his lines for Ashanti Gold as they come forward, they cross the centre line and this looks to be quite purposeful. And it's a chance for Ashanti Gold, it's Yakubu Mohamed! And it's goal, number one! The miners from Mopuasi have shot into the lead through the tenacity up front of Yakubu Mohamed, the leading goal scorer. And this afternoon, this afternoon Mohamed Yakubu gets goal number seven and the first goal of this afternoon for Ashanti goal. Brilliant goal by all standards. He got the ball, checked, his, um, checked himself to see the position of the goalkeeper and then eventually he lobbed it over the head of the goalkeeper. But maybe, I mean they were listening to me because I mentioned that the strongest point was playing the ball through the channels because that seemingly is the weakest point of um, Mighty Jets playing over here. They just were flat on that occasion, allowing him to just nick the ball over the head of the goalkeeper. Very good goal to be scored by him, and he does that as well. Maybe the Ashantis too. Thirty minutes gone in the first half, and it's to the Mighty Jets nail. Ashanti Gold won. If you've just joined us, you've missed a brilliant goal. Scored on the stroke of 30 minutes by Yakubu Mohamed. And the miners are one goal up. Louis Green with timely clearance. But it's picked up by Tamim Mumutari. He goes down from that tackle. And he would win a free kick. To do Mighty Jets have themselves to blame. They've had so much possession in the first 30 minutes. And they should have been up by a goal or two as they come forward through Rich Morning Kit here. Inusa looks up, sends in the long ball towards the 18 yard box, is headed out solidly by Lawrence Latte. Finds Luis Quenu. Quenu lays on the pass and finds Bernard Ekufu who clears out. A push in the back, referee was right there on the spot. And Cecil Flesher says the advantage should go to the miners. Meanwhile, we have a to do Mighty Jets uh, player down. 
Now, this is the fourth time that these two clubs are meeting since Tudu Mighty Jets joined the uh, Premiership last season. And sadly for Tudu Mighty Jets, they haven't been able to beat the Miners before. In that home match last season, if you remember, Tudu Mighty Jets were then playing at home in uh, Akosombo. Ash Gold came visiting and they beat them by one goal to nil. That was an Adogwe Ado goal. And here this afternoon, that man in your shot, Jakubu Mohamed, has just shot Ash Gold into the lead. When they went to Abuasi for that return encounter last season, in fact, it was a first round match, Ash Gold soundly beat Mighty Jets by three goals to nil. On that occasion and day, Nanaya Wefriye, Adogwe Ado, and Jakubu Mohamed got the goals. And then only this uh, season, in the first round, back at the Lanclay Stadium in Obuasi, Ash Gold again triumphed over Tudu Mighty Jets, beating them by three goals again to nil. Yakubu Mohamed got two on that occasion, and Aminu Mohamed got the other goal for Ash Gold. And so Tudu Mighty Jets are yet to either get a goal against Ash Gold or win a match against Ash Gold in the uh, Premiership. So it looks like uh, the status quo will continue today. It's a very tall order, I should say, for coach uh, Foster Al Hassan. But football is played in 90 minutes. Let's see what kind of options and strategies Foster will come up with between now and uh, the end of 90 minutes. Can you picking up instructions from uh, the assistant uh, of To Do Mighty Jets, who's been supporting uh, Foster? That's uh, David Doe. And we're gradually warming ourselves up into halftime. It's another opportunity for Ash Gold. This time into the safe hands of Titus Spaden. Of course, it took a ricochet off one of uh, the defenders of Tudu Mighty Jets. But that was another opportunity gone Abege. Mighty Jets find themselves in all sorts of troubles defending those true balls from Ashanti Gold. And I think that the pair of Isaac Owusu and Inusa consistently very close to each other. Their communication is not right, and they find themselves flat-footed. Or, 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 I mean, they find themselves very flat anytime they get those or defending those true balls. And the pressure exerted on the person who has the ball in a defensive midfield position for Mighty Jets has been really bad. That was a lucky, lucky, lucky miss by Nana Foku. The angle was tight, but he managed to get his head to it. Good mark of a marksmanship. Unfortunately, a lot. Uh, its intended uh, intended target, but that was a very good opportunity. Uh, Gonna begging for Ashanti Gold to take a look at the replay again. The cross came in from Luis Quenu, and uh, Nana was able to get his head to it, but it missed the target narrowly. Game will continue with Tudu Mighty Jets starting another attack from the rear in terms of a throw-in, and it's Inusa Musa who would pick up goalkeeper Titus Baden. We have 10 minutes to bring the curtains down as far as the first half is concerned. It's to the Mighty Jets nil and Ashanti Gold won for true in defense. Daniel Asamoah got his foot to it. Mohamed Sinari, good body check, turns round, finds Abdul Ghaniyu. Ghaniyu brings the ball back and Emmanuel Lai has been joining the attack as and when. Richmond Nketiah has been operating from the right. The time ball pushed forward by Isaac Ogusu. Good stoppage by uh, Kochu Ernest. Uh, Latif Mohamed sends one down the field expecting Yakubu Mohamed to run for that. It was a bit too strong. So goal kick it will be for to do Mighty Jets. And Albert is getting tougher and tougher for the home side. Well, it's not looking to be that particular game where Mighty Jets were against Ashanti Gold in their history as far as the Premier League is concerned. Neither are they looking good to even pick a point in this particular game. I sound good. I've been strong all throughout this um, encounter, although there have been occasions where I, I, I've, I've felt that they've been poor. But I think it's been a solid performance by them. Not really bothered in, a, in defense. In midfield, they have things under control. And then the pair of um, Yakubu Mohammed and then Nanapoku seem to be in confidence more than always putting pressure on the defenders of Mighty Jets. Kick in by Fatal Dauda. Heads go up. To the Mighty Jets get their head to it first. And the Studio Mighty Jets down the uh, right flank. Portugal goes down from that tackle. Referee says play on, and it's Adam Smoro. 
Moros crosses deep, but Tao Dao is out. He gets his fingertips to it. Experience is the best teacher, they say. TJ Kore. Trying to pick up his uh, colleague, Nanapoku. Nanapoku does so very well to get to the ball. He lays on the cross. Latif. But he's offside. Good play by Ashanti Gold in the spade of one or two minutes. And it's looking quite good for them. Looking very, very good for them. I think that it all started with the intervention by goalkeeper Dauda. He didn't dwell on the ball too well. Quickly got the team in an attacking mood. Then again, it is um, Nanapoku and the decisions he takes. I thought that he dwelled on that ball too much. Wasted a, a couple of seconds before delivering that pass, which eventually found uh, Latif in an offside position. But it's been a good display by Asante Gold. Samoa clears out for the miners. And the free would give the advantage to Sudo Maitijet. And quite interestingly, the player who tripped the Mighty Jets uh, footballer also goes down in pain. That looks like uh, Abdul Ghani Uyaya. He's okay. He's up on his feet. was the cross earlier on and look at that save easy as fire for Tao Dauda ensures that Abubakar City doesn't get his head to it regular goalkeeper of Ashko he comes with a lot of experience of course he's also manned the uh, goal post of the national team before so it's been a good show so far bringing advantage to Tudu Mighty Jets seven minutes to half time Tamimo is back on uh, the field. And uh, Sudo Mighty Jets might be making a change soon as the free kick is on. Intelligent chip by uh, Abdul Ghani. And Mohamed Sinari has been penalized for that body check. Well, clearly he knew that he was guilty. This is the lofty free kick. And then he shoves him in the back. Scenario showing Latte there, and once the referee whistles, I mean, his body language said it all. I'm guilty, it's a free kick against me. Good decision by Cecil Flesher, and uh, goes out. Into the last five minutes of uh, this first half, Sudo Mighty Jets are trailing by one. Again, it must be said that the crowd here not appreciable at all, lacking in numbers. But the few fans of Sudo Mighty Jets who have made their way here are still singing and drumming. Lovely flick on by Kaniu. Mohamed Sinari goes down from that tackle. It's going to be a free kick advantage. And I think Ernest Pochu is going to go into the referee's books. And it's Ernest Pochu of Ash Gold who receives the first yellow card of the afternoon. Well, it was a 50-50 ball, and he comes in, lifts his foot off the ground, and connects with Sinari. And that clearly is a bad tackle referee giving him the yellow card, the first caution of the game. Substitution time for Tudu Mighty Jets, and they're bringing on Nuru Sule. Difficult to tell from commentary position why uh, this change, but uh, Nuru Sule is... a uh, coming on and uh, he's taking off Isaac uh, he's coming in in place of uh, Isaac Ogusu and Albert said it earlier on Isaac Ogusu hasn't looked good he hasn't looked that sharp in the match this afternoon and so Foster Alassan sensing that has pulled him off Isaac Ogusu that is and he's brought on Nuru Sule free kick again it's Abdul Ghaniu it's a chance for Tudu Mighty Jets a feeble header at that from Abdul Ghaniu that obviously could not be Fatal Dauda. Throws the ball down and finds Latif Mohammed. Clash. On that occasion, Latif and uh, Abdul Ghani. And uh, the header again. The connection was good, but it lacked power. And of course, it lacked the direction. It was too direct to uh, Fatal Mohammed. 
Neymar gets the ball into the half of uh, Mighty Jet. Kept in play by Latif. Solid tackle coming in from Richmond in Kitia, but the referee judges that to be unfair. Latif is down, and it's going to be a yellow card. Yellow card to Adam Smoro for that tackle on Latif Mohammed. It was quite a solid tackle, I should say. And Tito Flesher has booked. And you see the uh, tackle again. Quite a very strong one at that. And so one yellow card apiece. And Latif will receive uh, some uh, first aid. And Saikochi is there by his side already. What a job he did for this country and for the Black Stars. Saikochi. To the Mighty Jet. Clear the alliance through Richmond in Ketia. Adam Smoro has uh, made his uh, run. So has Abdul Ghanil. Mohamed Tenayri is waiting for it. Tenayri gets it and it switches play to the far side. Good thinking. This is Isaac Clever. Clever with the ball. A lovely through pass. Ball, ball comes to uh, Emmanuel Lai. And Ashgold forming a block in defense. Difficult to beat. And Adams could not keep the ball in play. Ball rolls out into touch. And it will be a throw in to Ashanti Gold. We're into the last minute, last minute of the first half. And barring any time added on, the referee's whistle might go as the next 60 seconds. Long throw in, ball headed out solidly by uh, Asamoa. So 90, uh, 45 minutes, I beg your pardon. 45 minutes are up and we are playing two minutes. Half time added on. Rich Morning Ketia with another telling cross to the far side. Fatal Dauda runs out for that. He would love to shepherd the ball. Out into touch it goes. He goes down in the process. I doubt if he's picked up an injury. But he did well to shepherd the ball for Mabubaka and Sidi. And Sidi, sportingly, would help Fatal Dauda out. Good to see very good uh, and healthy relationship between two opposing teams. Throw in his own. Sami Mumuntari, he turns, he's waiting for options. Mohamed Sinari has Richard Nketia. Nketia will let one go. And it goes off target. So two minutes of time added on, says our fourth official, John Atikese from uh, Koforidia. Clever. Ball sent all the way back. Uh, Ninusa finds uh, Richard. Inketia. Inketia again. And he missed the opportunity. It was a very good opportunity at that for Tudu Mighty Jet. They pick up the corner kick in the process. But there's injury worry for Pochu. He seems to be okay. And uh, I may be mistaken, but this seems to be the first corner of the game to Tudu Mighty Jet. And we are in uh, two minutes of time added on. Wow. Adam Smoro with a corner kick. An out swinger. Heads will go up. Didier Corey gets his head to it. Latif Mohamed fills with the clearance. The pressure is on. A lovely turn by Nuru Sule. Didier Corey disp dispossessed. Emmanuel Lai through the legs. Mohamed Sinari. He goes down from the push. Referee says the game should continue. Okay, and it's cleared out by Ash Gold. Ketia. Back to Richmond in Ketia. He goes down. Mohamed Sinari. He picks up the pieces. Good work. Ganil finds Lai. 
to the far side. Tamimu! And it goes way off target. And I guess that will sum up the efforts of Tudu Mighty Jets in this first 45 minutes of this match, week 19 of the Ghana Globe Premier League. And uh, from that replay, it kept rising and rising and rising. Any moment from now, the referee's whistle will be going for the end of uh, the first 45 minutes. And Cecil Fletcher brings the first 45 minutes to an end here at the Accra Sports Stadium. Let's walk you through some of the highlights in the first half. Shots coming here, there, and everywhere from Tudu Mighty Jets. The number who had chances in the first half for Ash Gold. Corner kick which was dealt with by Titus Baden. And it was cleared out eventually by Tudu Mighty Jets. Abdul Ghani also had an opportunity. The shot went off target. But they still kept probing and probing. Patau Dauda this time to the rescue for Ash Gold. But there was some good footwork by Sidi Abubakar. On that occasion, his left footed drive was well saved by Patau Dauda. On the other side, Latif Mohamed came up with crosses. Nobody there to finish up. Ashgold had opportunities, and this was an expertly taken goal by Yakubu Mohamed. 30 minutes gone in the first half. Of course, more options came their way. Titus Baden was alert to his uh, job. Luis Quenu sent in the cross. The header on from Nana Bubu, but it missed by a few inches. Amos did well to send in the cross. Well read by Fatal. And so that sums up the action here in the first half as we go for a quick break sports stadium and back to the match involving to the mighty jets and gold just about waiting the referee's instructions Whoa. for the commencement of the second half first half ended one goal to ash gold no goal to uh, mighty jets goal was scored 30 minutes in the uh, first half through yakubu muhammad and let's see how to the mighty jets would reply in the second half They've got 45 minutes to get themselves back into the game. 45 minutes to seal victory here. And for Ash Gold, so far they have their noses in front. And if it stays this way, back to the Lenkle Stadium or back to Obwase with three points nipped in the bud. And so for Foster Al Hassan, the head coach of Tudu Mighty Jets, quite a tall order. Just about to uh, commence uh, the second half. And a little bit of a uh, shirt swapping there between Captain Daniel Asamoah and uh, DJ Corey. All seems uh, to have been sorted out. And so it will be Yakubo Mohamed and Nanapoku who get us underway commencement of the second half. To the Mighty Jets are now depend uh, defending, I beg your pardon, the independent square end of the field. Uh, and Ash Gold, they are sporting the yellow jerseys over black shorts. They're playing from left to right. First throw in for the uh, second half. To the Mighty Jets will now operate from uh, the far side. Mohamed Sinairi, ball has been uh, taken off him by Didier Kore. Nana Poku lays on the pass to Latif Mohamed on the far side. Can he get in the cross? Well, Latif's cross was good, but uh, Sule Nuru had a foot in. On that occasion, it ended up a goal kick. In, uh, goal kick to the home side, Mighty Jets. Abdul Ghani, he lays on the pass. Can Muntari get to it? No. Tamimu was uh, stopped dead in his tracks by Luis Quenu. Tamimu again. This time it comes to Clevo. Tamimu's trying so very hard to regain possession. Mohamed Sinairi comes to his aid. Clever with a cross in. He's still dangling in there. Luis Quero eventually with a clearance. Not too far. And Mighty Jets ball goes out. The advantage will stay for the home side. Clever with a throw in. Ball brought down beautifully by Abdul Ghaniu. To the far side he goes, trying to find his uh, colleague Adam Smoru. It's now Didier Corre. Didier Corre lays on the pass for Latif. No. Nurusule was alert. 
And away comes uh, Richmond. Richmond to Ganil. Back to Richmond and no. Pass too strong for Richmond to stop. Throwing advantage will be. Ball cleared out by Ashgo. It doesn't go too far. The Snuru Sule. See if he came on. He's been quite effective. And it's Tamimu. Tamimu going through a forest of uh, legs. Tamimu is still going through. Tamimu lacking ideas and it's offside. Lawrence Lati had a footing. And my word, that was a strong challenge by Tudu Mighty Jet. Losing concentration, losing uh, his uh, bearings when it really mattered most. And the death of the 18. Very well, I think that this is the second time he's taking matters into his own hands. The first happened in the first half where he, with blistering pace, cut through like a, a hot knife through butter. But on this occasion, that intervention came in. I thought that if he had gathered himself really quickly, he could have gotten onto the ball once again. But as you said, the focus was lost. He lost the confidence in his own abilities that he could get onto the ball once again. Clever pass. A bit too strong for Mohamed Sinairi. And the referee gives the advantage to Ashgo. Handball situation, he says. So Ashgo on the offensive now. Bernard Ekufu finds Latif. GJ Kore. Lawrence Latif, your shot a while ago. Good stoppage by the defense of Tudu Mighty Jets. Tamimu comes in with a foot. And away they go in terms of an attack. There's a long searching ball for Abubakar Sidi. Patao sends sweeper and Lawrence Latte clears. Deep into the half of Tudu Mighty Jets. There's a strong run for it. Yakubu has been dispossessed. He brings the player down unfairly. That was uh, Inusa Musa. And referee was right there on the spot. As we take a look at the replay again. Well, Inusa was lucky to have the infringement go in his favor. I think that he put himself in all sorts of problems when he allowed the ball to take a bounce before he dealt with it. And for me, if you look at the upper body strength of Yakubu Mohammed, it's always very difficult to go into shoulder to shoulder challenges with him and win it. And over here, he keeps his eye on the ball, but eventually he allows the ball to bounce once. He sees ground to Yakubu Mohammed, who eventually wins the ball. Very fortunate that decision went in his favor. It would have been Yakubu Mohammed straight up on goal in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Goat Fabiri. Throw in coming the way of Tudu Mighty Jet. Nuru Sule. It fits so very well into the role given to him by uh, Foster Al Hassan, replacing Isaac Owusu in the first half. And it's now Tudu Mighty Jet down, the player goes, free kick advantage. And Emmanuel Lai in his haste bundles of the Ash Gold uh, player. That was uh, Luis Quaid. Freaky quickly affected. Abdul Ghani. He's got options in Sinairi. Richmond in Ketia coming up and uh, looking for the drive, but lost his balance in the process. And it's taken over by Latif Mohammed. It's a daring run down the left flank. Lays on the pass. The flag is up for offside. Nana Poku, the culprit. Well, Nanapoku should have looked over his shoulder and timeless run really well. Because once the ball broke in the manner it did, with Mighty Jets facing a 3 versus 4 situation.